Hi Scorpio, welcome to your love reading. This is going to be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising. This is a general love reading so it may or may not resonate. If it doesn't, feel free to check your other placements. We're going to look at you and the person you're currently thinking about and then we'll look at your overall love energy. So what's going on with Scorpio and the person they are currently thinking about, dealing with? What are the energy between these two? What's the energy between these two? Okay. Hmm. You have someone... Someone who hasn't been speaking to you. This could be a Virgo... It could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, actually. They seem to be re-emerging. This person could have been dealing with some kind of depression. doesn't have to be, but they are re-emerging. <clears throat> I don't know if they're going to reach out to you. Because this page of pentacles is in reverse. I don't know if you're going to run into this person or... This is someone that you expect... You know, the ball is in their court. They should be the one to say something. You have some negative feelings towards them, like they've made you feel some type of way emotionally in the past. So this is someone from the past, but I don't know what this story is because their energy towards you is kind of strange. There's been emotional distance between you two. For some of you... You may have been mad at this person, but they may have just needed space, time to think. They may have been going through something. Like I said, for some of you, they could have been depressed with the Hermit in reverse. And now with this Eight of Cups. So, okay. Some of you may, if they do have an offer for you, you're probably going to turn it down. Clarify this King of Swords in reverse, please. Why is this here? Some of you may, I mean, this person could secretly be narcissistic or a wanting power, a game player. And some of you may know this, like your intuition may tell you this. I don't know why this person is showing up if you are going to turn them down, but they're showing up. I guess maybe you need a warning. This is someone who secretly wants power. So if they ignored you in the past, it could have been that they enjoyed the power of, you know, being wanted, being chased, or being desired by you. It could be a Pisces for some of you. This, this could have been a game player. I feel like you are not entertaining any kind of reconciliation with this person. So I really don't know why they're showing up. But I guess we'll figure it out. So let's see. What's going on with Scorpio? Oops. What's going on with Scorpio when it comes to love? What does Scorpio need to know right now about their love life? of wands you guys are looking ahead let's see i'm getting that things are going to start happening for you and that's prob that probably has to do with why you don't really have time for this person yeah you're stepping into some serious power with the with the high priestess this is your energy right now or soon to be in the coming days the high priestess so i feel like it's something to do with you just being on a higher level and realize maybe you thought that this person was everything at one point and now you're realizing that they're not much could be a gemini could be a virgo we got the, the hermit again could be a capricorn aquarius king of swords in reverse again 
something about power. Like this person is power hungry, or they were. When it comes to their emotions, their feelings to you, they are feelings towards you, they are stuck with the eight of swords. Or they think they're stuck. This person. <laughs> You guys' perspective on each other is flipping. You may have seen this person as everything in the past. Now they're seeing you as everything. They feel like they're stuck on you. I'm also hearing under a spell. Like they think they're under a spell. Um, I don't know if they're accusing you of putting a spell on them. But they feel that way. Um, like they feel like they're stuck. They haven't, they're seeing things differently. They have a whole new perspective on you. So it's kind of like this person may have tricked you, similar to the cancer reading I did a couple of days ago, where this person could have tricked you into thinking that, you know, they were everything and you believe that. And now you're seeing the truth. You're in this high priestess energy. You're seeing your own power. And now they're starting to kind of admit to themselves that you are the powerful one. And they're seeing you as the queen of pentacles. So some of you may have some financial increase been getting that for you so maybe this person is now seeing it they're seeing you as being very stable loving and caring they're also realizing that you are that person who was nurturing to them unlike everyone else so it's like they're <laughs> they're realizing what they could have had with you if they had um not taken you for granted some of you may have a new love coming in with this page of cups this can also be an apology from this person, but it could be a new love. This could be you um, having a crush on someone new. Because you're viewing this person as the Queen of Swords in reverse. So it can't be, I mean, them that you're crushing on or wanting. Lovers as the mutual energy. And the Hermit is what's blocking. So there's been no communication between you two. Silence, distance, withdrawal. I don't know if you're going to entertain a conversation with them, but not really let them in. Let me get some of these cards here. What do we have for Scorpio? What's coming up for Scorpio in love? We saw the union card. <laughs> and now we have obsession that really wanted to come out. It flipped and folded. So we have someone constantly thinks about you. Comparison, stalking, keeps photos and screenshots, partner. This could be a partner, ex, family member, friend, foe, or karmic. So yeah, this person, now I see why they're showing up. Even though you don't want them, they're obsessed with you. They feel stuck on you. They may even be accusing you of putting a spell on them. Trust me, I've been, I've been accused of that multiple times in the past and I would never do that because I would want to be loved for me, not because of a spell, okay? But there are people whose ego will tell them that you must have put a spell on them because there's no way they would be this, you know, they just can't take responsibility for the fact that they are obsessed. It has to be something that you did so they can feel better about that. What, what else do we have for Scorpio? Past events affecting current energy. So you're still judging this person based on the past, as you should, because I do feel like they wanted power. They wanted power over you. Treat yourself, don't cheat yourself. I feel like dealing with this person would be cheating yourself. Cheating yourself out of <laughs> a bigger fish is what I'm getting. Like this person is not, they're just not on your level. And if you're cross-watching, this may be vice versa. Anytime I get messages like this, when it comes to like someone overpowering someone, unless you're the cross-watcher who's doing this to a Scorpio, if the Scorp this could be the Scorpio doing it to you because there's always a warning with the power, with someone trying to have power over someone. So we have watch, sorry, what are you talking about, Willis? Side eye, somebody acting like they got amnesia a line of questioning is needed if they brought it to you they're talking about you too so you're suspicious of this person naturally because you're a scorpio and like i said you may have picked up on them wanting power over you what are the love messages for scorpio 
mystery. It's going to be them hiding behind accounts. <laughs> I was meant to grab one card and the, the third one fell out anyways. Snake, ex-lover. Can this get any more clear? You can't trust this ex. And you know that you're in the high priestess energy. So, you know. But there, with this king of swords in reverse, they're trying to overpower this high priestess energy, whether you're male or female. They're trying to overpower your own intuition that is correct. And we have proposals. So be careful of any proposal this person has for you. You know, trying to get back with you, love bombing. I feel like they feel that you're going somewhere in life. And they're trying to stop that. Didn't I have that similar message for the last read? Last reading, it was about multiple people. This is more focused on a particular ex. Or even ex-friend for some of you. If you don't have an ex like this. There's someone here who is obsessed. Clarify the Eight of Swords, please. Why is this person feeling that towards Scorpio? They could be very egotistic. The king of the king of wands. It could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but this is about them not being able to get over you. They could have gotten over you, uh, uh, could have gotten over you at one point, but then fell for you again. I don't understand why I'm getting that message. Maybe it was on and off. Maybe they feel like you pulled them back in with a spell. I mean, this is all in their head, but. They're obsessed and they don't want to admit that to themselves. Because that, if they admit that, if they admit to themselves that they're obsessed with you, then that just confirms that you are powerful. And that's, that's not what they want to confirm. They want to overpower you. So the fact that they're obsessed with you is proven to them even more that you are powerful. And that, that bugs them as well. Clarify the hangs, man, please. Oh my God, two nights. This person may notice people lined up to be with you. Look at how these two are lined up. And these are offers here. Even though one is slow moving, but still valuable. Wow. It's either this person has noticed that people are trying to get with you. So they're like rushing to your feet. Or this is them themselves coming to you with some grandiose offer. With some over the top. And I'm drawn to this. You'll be looking at this over the top proposal or confession of love. You'll be side eyeing it like this is too weird. It looks too fake. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles, please. Definitely reverse. This person sees you as someone that could heal, help to heal them or that they felt better and happier and more healed when they were around you. It's kind of like they were feeding on your energy when you were around and now they can't. Clarify the lovers, please. Tell me about this lovers energy. It could be someone that you were with. You could have lived together. I mean, you were with them, but like you could have like lived together or even wanted to at some at one point. Could have been an Aries. There's something weird, though, about the mutual energy. It's it's the lovers and there's stability there and everything. But. Hold on a sec. <laughs> I must be able to uncover this. Why the page of cups? Clarify the page of cups, please. So you have options. <laughs> you have options, or you will. The three of pentacles. Some of you may, if you don't have options, it can be that they um, ask a friend to come to you. Ask a third party, 
a friend, a friend, not a, not a cheating situation. A third person on the outside of your relationship to come and talk to you for them. You definitely have control of your emotions here, but some of you have more than one option or you have your eye on someone else. Clarify the high priestess, please. You're in your own energy. The high priestess, the death card. You're releasing a lot of things. Yeah, release. You're stepping into confidence, king of wands. You are releasing a lot of things. And I'm hearing karmic cycles, like serious things, not just people, but old habits, old energies, old even paradigms I'm hearing. Reprogramming your whole some some conscious subconscious mind. That's why you're in this power. Because old traumas don't have a hold on you. And maybe it was trauma that drew you to drew you to this person and now that you're releasing it, they don't have a hold on you anymore. Clarify the Queen of Swords in reverse, please. Yeah, you don't see anything, any movement with this person. Definitely on the fence about them. So you may have moments where you wonder if they're um, a good person. You wonder if you can trust them. But soon it's going to be clear as day. What's going on with Scorpio when it comes to love? Honest conversation, body language. So yeah, you're gonna have to read the body language. We've got true love, let go of control, relocate. And some of you may meet someone or have another option somewhere far away. Something about moving and finding love somewhere else. What are the messages for Scorpio? This could be the friend. If they could have like a lighter skin, lighter hair friend, or they could be light hair one. Someone has light features. It could be the friend that's coming towards you to, to speak on their behalf. I don't know. But this for some of you could also be an option of yours, male or female. Friendship, friends, acquaintances, networking, soulmate, great connection, relationship. Young female, brunette female. So if you if you're if you date females, this could be your multiple options. If you are a female, you could suspect this person having multiple options. Sorry, if you date men who date women, or you date anyone who dates women, you could feel like there could be there could have been a third party because the three of cups is in reverse with them so it could be that there was an annoyance of a third party you got fed up of that stupid ass lifestyle but this is for a lot of you this is you because you got darker hair intense focus don't have to have dark hair but you're a scorpio so you got intense energy what is the advice oh we got destiny luck meant to be so there's a soulmate connection could be with a younger female or male That was meant to be for some of you. What's the advice for Scorpio? No pain, no gain. So what you went through with this person has helped push you to this point. Don't repeat the mistakes. You already know that luck is on your side. Long-term and stability. So you're leaving this half relationship that is just not giving. Some of you are even relocating to go and be with this soulmate. Whether you've met them or not, you could have just spotted them online or something. Well, you haven't met them yet, but this person, you question whether they want power and they do want power over you. That's the thing. They feel like you're too powerful. 
Clarify the Eight of Wands in reverse. You're letting go of that new beginning with the fool nine of pentacles and the chariot travel forward movement with the nine of pentacles you got this financial windfall and i really feel like you're really ending the past you're really closing that chapter for real like not even kind of like you may be questioning now but soon you're gonna just close it and you're gonna take the leap of faith and you'll be in this nine of pentacles energy and moving forward but this person here you have to watch them they do want control they are obsessed and they want to blame you or bring you down because it's like how dare you make me so stuck on you why do you have so much power over me i need to take that back that's how they feel so you really have to be careful with this person because it seems like power is really important to them they're willing to put on a whole facade let me just remind you the ex-lover and snake and mystery which means it's hidden and the moon card did come out earlier clarifying the king of swords in reverse who is a power hungry person possibly even narcissist so while their offers look cute i cannot deny the snake card and the moon card that came out so scorpio this is what i'm seeing could be dealing with a capricorn a cancer a leo a fellow scorpio a gemini aries virgo Aquarius those are the main signs so I hope this was helpful subscribe if you're new thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one